I'm Lieutenant Nathan Gapp of the uh, Air Force Research Laboratory Advanced Space Power Group. The technology transfer effort that we work on is the Rollout Solar Array, or ROSA, and what this effort is is a rolled up array versus the conventional state of practice, which is a fold out array, and uh, it uses composite boom, slit boom tubes which uh, and no motors, making it uh, lighter, and the booms deploy the array using their own stored strain energy, uh, making the overall system less complex. The Ros uh, ROSA system also uh, addresses the major problem or need for any space vehicle system, which is its, its power system. You can't do anything up in space without power, and by uh, addressing this, this key core function, we're able to apply the technology across a wide spectrum of uh, satellites and other space vehicles for both military and commercial applications. It's highly scalable, and uh, due to its uh, relatively low complexity it, and, uh, and mass and volume savings, it's actually able to offer six times greater uh, power density, which is watts per unit volume, uh, three times greater uh, specific power, uh, watts per unit mass, uh, four times higher stiffness than current state of practice, and uh, all while doing this at 25% uh, reduced cost. The transfer for this technology was initiated by use of a prime contractor deployable space systems uh, out of uh, Santa Barbara, California. Uh, I'll refer to them as DSS. But uh, DSS specializes in design, analysis, development, and a whole host of other uh, capabilities for, for uh, new and, and innovative systems. And uh, we worked with them via a small business innovative research uh, program, or SIBR, uh, and uh, that was a, a awarded to them in January 2010. So shortly after the SIBR was awarded to DSS, another small company, LoadPath LLC, was brought on, and they uh, specialize in the fabrication and test analysis of, uh, of the uh, composite booms. And uh, we worked with a uh, cooperative research and development agreement, or CRADA, uh, to, to get that started. The mechanisms uh, that the laboratory uh, used to make the technology transfer happen was a rapid innovation fund via, uh, with the help of uh, Space and Missile Systems Center, uh, SMC, uh, part of the Air Force, and uh, the CRADA that I mentioned with Load Path, along with a small technology transfer program. The Air Force Research Laboratory works with uh, many different companies of all shapes and sizes, uh, from Load Path uh, to DSS to Space Systems Loral, uh, which is uh, a major commercial satellite provider and one of the early adopters of the ROSA technology and is in testing right now to make that technology off, uh, um, offered to its uh, customers in the near future.